Welcome to Overdrive's how-to videos. In this video are some basic steps for enjoying titles from your library's digital collection. Your library has lots of great digital titles to choose from. All you need to get started is an internet connection and your library card. Depending on what formats your library offers, you may be able to choose from ebooks, audiobooks, music, or video. This service is free for users and titles automatically expire at the end of the lending period, so there's no need to worry about late fees. To find an OverDrive powered library near you, go to search.overdrive.com and perform a library search by library name, city, or postal code. When you find your library, click on the link provided to be taken to the digital library website. From here, sign in with your library card to borrow titles, create wish lists, place holds, and more. You can browse featured titles on the homepage of your digital library website and quickly tell if a title is available using the format icon in the upper right corner of its cover. Black means the title is available and gray indicates you can place a hold. Use the quick search or advanced search located at the top of your digital library website to search for titles, authors, subjects, and more. Narrow down your results using the filters on the left hand side of the page. Use the drop-down to select Only Titles with Available Copies to see only titles that are currently available. If your library offers the Additional Titles feature, you can also sample titles that your library doesn't own yet and then purchase for yourself and recommend titles to your library. If you see a title that you'd like to read in the future, click the bookmark icon to add it to your wish list. Your wish list can be found in your account under Lists. Click on a title to learn more about it. You'll see title details such as a description, available formats, the number of copies your library owns, the number of copies currently available, the lengths of the hold list if there is one, and a selection of similar titles you might enjoy. You'll also see the title's digital rights information. This explains what you can do with the title once it's checked out from the library. These rights are set by the publisher. On this page, you can also read samples of many titles, add titles to your wish list, and rate titles. When you find a title you'd like to check out, you can see how long the lending period is. And if your library offers an adjustable lending period, you will have the option to change it. To check out an available title, simply click Borrow. This will then open your library bookshelf to access the checked out title. Here you'll see the different formats available for your title, which may include OverDrive Read as well as other formats for download. Once you select a format for download, other format options for that title will disappear except for Read, which is always an option. Remember, you don't need to worry about due dates because your titles automatically expire and return. If you'd like to return a title before the lending period expires and you have not downloaded it, you can return it from the bookshelf on your library website. Once you choose a download format, the return button on your library website disappears, but you may be able to return the title from the software used to access it, such as Adobe Digital Editions or OverDrive Media Console. After borrowing a title, you have several options for accessing it. For ebooks, the easiest way to start reading is to use OverDrive Read. From your bookshelf, simply click Read in your browser to begin. Navigate through your book by clicking the left or right side of the screen. Or use the table of contents or slider to move quickly through the book. Each ebook is customizable and you can adjust settings such as font size or line spacing to fit your reading preferences. You can also search for words or phrases and add bookmarks. To close out of OverDrive Read, simply exit out of the browser. Once you close OverDrive Read, you can access your borrowed ebook by navigating back to your bookshelf and clicking Read again. You can even open the title on other devices. Your place, settings, and bookmarks will be saved. 
You can read offline by bookmarking the page or setting it as a favorite in your browser. If the OverDrive Read option is not available, or if you prefer to download your borrowed titles, you can download ebooks to your computer using free Adobe Digital Edition software available on your library's help page. In the United States, you'll also have the option to send ebooks in the Kindle book format to Kindle devices and reading apps. You can download audiobooks to your Windows or Mac computer using free OverDrive Media Console software, also available on your help page. If you're using a Windows computer, you can also use OverDrive Media Console to download WMA Music and WMV video titles. You can install the OverDrive Media Console app on many popular tablets and mobile devices to easily access your digital library site and download EPUB ebooks and MP3 audiobooks directly to your device. If a title is not currently available, click place a hold and then enter your email address. When the title becomes available, you'll receive a notification via email. Simply sign into your library website, navigate to your account and then your holds, and click borrow to check it out. Please note that the hold period may vary by library. To access your library account, click Account. You will find your bookshelf, which contains your current checkouts, your holds, where you can remove and edit titles you've placed on hold, your lists, where you can access your wish list, rated titles, and more, and your settings, where you may be able to set your lending period preferences. In the My Account section, you'll also see your checkout limit, the number of titles you have checked out, and the number of checkouts remaining. If you need any additional assistance, click the help icon on your digital library website to access help resources or contact support.